Hey guys, Jaden Irwin here with Little Sticks. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is part two of the Dino Crash Course. So if you haven't watched the first one, you might wanna start there. Um, in this part, we're actually gonna be covering how to work with files with Dino. So we're gonna cover how to read files, write files, um, rename and remove files. Um, let's go ahead and get started though. So we're just gonna do a new file called, let's just do files.js. And we're gonna do const data equals, and just to start, let's go ahead and read the file, the hello.txt file that we had. So read file. This just takes in a path, so we're gonna do hello.txt like that, and log it just like that. So let's just do dino run files.js. And this is that prompt that we saw in the last part where Dino actually is secure by default. So it's going to ask, um, are you okay with me reading this file? It doesn't automatically have permissions to do that. We're gonna say yes. And then we, there we go, granted read access to hello txt, and then the promise pending. Um, but it's a promise, right? So that actually means that this needs to be an await dino.read file. So this is an asynchronous function and we need to wait for Dino to read the file in order to log it. So let's run that again. And actually to avoid that prompt, let's go ahead and clear that. We can run the same uh, command, right? But we're just gonna add this flag, allow read. So Dino run allow read files.js. And that just bypasses that prompt, right? Because we're saying, hey, we're allowing the read permission so unit eight array 32. So this is a, th these are the bits that make up that file. We still need to decode those bits though. So to do that, we're going to create a decoder. So decoder equals new text decoder. And this is a UTF-8 file format. So that's our decoder. And then we need to use the decoder. So it's gonna be decoder.decode. And we're gonna decode the data. So let's do the same command again, dino run allow read files.js. And there we go. Hello, Jaden, I'll pull this up so you can see it a little bit better. I guess that doesn't do much, but <laughs> yeah. So hello, Jaden, nice to meet you, which that is the text inside of our hello txt. So that's a simple way to read a file. Um, maybe our next piece is the writing of a file. So maybe we want to rewrite what is inside of the hello txt from here. Um, to do that, let's just do a little break here. So write files. And we're going to do const data equals. And actually, we're going to start with what is in the text. So the new text. Let's call it new text equals um, hello world from files.js. Now we're going, we've kind of seen this in that first part. Um, this can, is dino.write text file, and then you have the file name and the data. So those are the two arguments there. Um, let's go ahead and not do the write text file directly though. Let's do a more basic version of it right here. So let's do um, uh, await, oops, await dino.write file. And Copilot's jumping ahead a little bit. We have this new text encoder dot encodes. So that would be a quick way to do really what we did up top, right? Um, but let's go ahead and remove that. We're gonna do new text and dino.write file. And we actually do need to do a decoder just like Copilot had, but const encoder, excuse me, equals new text encoder. So it's the same same type of thing going on here, new text encoder. And we're going to use that. So encoder.encode new text. Now, if we run this, we're treated with a different prompt, right? So it's saying it's requesting write access to hello txt. So we have allow read, but the write access is a different permission. So to bypass that and not get the prompt, we would do allow right as well. And there you go. It's going to console log the data. Hello. That's what we had up top. Um, and then if we go to the hello.txt, it 
rewrote what was inside of the file after that console log happened. So let's just go ahead and comment out that console log. I'll actually comment out all of that up top just to avoid confusion. And then our hello.txt, it looks exactly like what we have for our new text, hello world from the files.js file. Let's try that again. There we go. Hello world from the files.js file. So our write file is working. Um, pretty straightforward, right? So you have this decoder, new text encoder, UTF-8. So you have to tell it what type of text decoder it is, what it is decoding. Um, and then we're console logging that one. And then the second piece is writing the file. It's almost the inverse, right? So encoder, text encoder, encoder.encode. And then you just pass it the new text that you are encoding. Um, just to kind of cover what we did in the first one, um, we did this dino.write text file. So that is actually a function of dino. We could do dino.write text file and pass the new text into that. And that would avoid the need for this encoder. So it still should work. And we can test this out, put a two on the end. We'll run that. If we go to hello.txt, there you go. Hello world from files.js2. So that means that it works with this dino write text file function as well. And that removes the need for an encoder. But keep in mind, you only can do that if you're doing a text file directly. If it was a markdown file, a JavaScript file, those types of things, you're probably going to want to use the encoder and decoder route. So that's really it for reading and writing files. Now our next piece is going to be renaming and removing files. So this is where we can kind of take our same approach that we did with like a CLI on the first one, a command line interface. Um, so we're going to do const rename confirmation equals confirm. And let's say, do you want to rename the file? So we're going to rename this hello.txt, right? And it's going to be a lot like what you saw in the first part. Let's, let's write all this out. I'm going to disable copilot. So if rename confirmation, await dino dot rename is our function. And we're going to rename hello.txt. We could do hello too, but let's say like, <laughs> that's funny. I deactivated Copilot and it's still running. That's odd, but OK. <laughs> um, let's do console.log file not renamed. That's funny. Copilot is still running. I don't know if that's funny or not, <laughs> um, but OK. Yeah, so if rename confirmation, so if they confirm they want to rename the file, then it will rename it to greetings.txt. So let's try this. Do you want to rename the file? Let's say yes. And there you go. Our hello.txt is gone, and it's been replaced with greetings.txt. Um, we, could, we could go back here uncomment that, recreate the file again. Let's say no, we don't want to rename the file. Now we have a hello.txt and a greetings.txt. So we're just kind of get back to where we were. And then let's go through removing. So that's really it for renaming. Very simple. Dino.rename, you pass it the existing name of the file, and then you pass it the new name of the file. Pretty straightforward. Um, let's do removing files section here. I'll probably add another section, renaming files. And let's do the same thing. So const remove confirmation equals confirm. And let's say, do you want to remove the file? And if remove confirmation, and we're going to be very similar to the other one, await dino.remove. And let's remove our hello.txt file, which actually, let's say remove greetings. 
app.txt because we're going to run the rename and then we're going to remove it. So we should be left theoretically with no files after this runs. And else, we could put an else in there, but that's all right. We don't really need it to log anything. So we're going to run that. Do you want to rename the file? So hello.txt should change to greetings. There we go, greetings.txt. And now it's going to say, do you want to remove the file? So let's say yes. Boom, there it goes. <laughs> um, so that's really it. That's, that's what I wanted to cover in this part, just so people are kind of getting familiar with you know, reading, writing, renaming, removing, like working with files. You can imagine just these functions alone are, are pretty straightforward. Dino read file, Dino write file, got to use those encoders if you are not doing text files. Um, and then you have dino.rename and dino.remove. So those are the main functions and you can use them to your heart's content, move around your files, rename them, replace the contents of them all you'd like. Um, and just remember Dino has those flags to allow read and allow write access. So that's really it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. I think the next piece we're gonna be covering um, like how modules work inside of Dino. We might also cover fetching if we have time for it too. So stay tuned. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. We're gonna keep moving forward in all of these like base level concepts. And then we're gonna start working on the project aspect of it. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.